Hello everybody and welcome to this video in our series about graph data science. In this video we're going to learn about Neo4j Euler or Neuler, which is a no-code way of onboarding yourself with the graph data science library. Now Neuler aims to do to teach you how to do three things. So we want to learn how to configure the algorithms, we want to see how to explore the results, and then we want to learn how to reproduce those results. So we want to see the code so that we can do it ourselves. Uh, so we'll start with configuring the algorithms. Um, so this is uh, a screenshot from Neuler. Uh, and so you can see we've, we've, we're on the, the page for the page rank algorithm. And so we can navigate by category on the left hand side. And then along the top, we can choose which one of the algorithms in that category we'd like to use. Uh, and then we get this form here where we can select the label, relationship type. We can indicate whether or not we want to store the results in the database how many records we want to show, or how many rows we want to show on the return. And then if for some algorithms, there'll be some extra parameters that we can configure as well. So for PageRank, we can control the number of iterations and the damping factor as well. Uh, and so for, and, and so we can we can play around with that um, in, this, in this form here. Uh, and so you can see here, we've now configured it uh, with the relationship type of interacts season one, uh, we're choosing to ignore the relationship direction or the relationship orientation. So we're saying that the relationship doesn't actually matter. And then we're going to use the weight property uh, on those relationships of the, the, of the name weight. And this is actually going to run this algorithm um, over a Game of Thrones graph of interactions between characters. Uh, we've then left the default values for iterations and damping factor, and we've reduced the number of rows to 20. Uh, and so we could then go and run that algorithm and the results will show on the right hand side. Uh, which leads us nicely into exploring the results. So if we run that algorithm, then this is what we'll see. So this, these are the results for running the page rank algorithm on a projected graph of the interactions between characters in Game of Thrones in season one. And so you can see we've got that they're, they're sorted by the score in descending order. So you can see we've got Ned at the top, uh, we've got Tyrion in second, and we've got Catelyn, uh, Caitlin in third. Uh, and so we can also see, you can see along the top, there are other ways of viewing the results. So we could choose to view a chart so here's a, here's a chart version of that, which maybe is a bit easier to see quite how much higher Ned's score is than everyone else. Uh, or we could use a graph visualization. So this picks just the uh, top 20 rows in this case and the relationships between those people. Uh, and then the, the size is based on, so you can see here, we can choose a property for the size and for the color if we had a color. Um, and so here we're choosing the, the page rank uh, property to size those. And so you can see we get um, the, the most important nodes will be uh, in a bigger size. Uh, and then finally, uh, we can see the code behind this. If we want to try and reproduce it ourselves directly against Neo4j, uh, we can click on the code tab. Uh, and this will give you uh, the parameters or the, the fragments of code that you can run. So in this example, the first one selects the database, the second one sets up all the configuration parameters. And then down the bottom of the screen, we've got the actual procedure call itself. And then if we keep scrolling, we've actually got a way, rather than of individually copying those fragments of code, we can actually generate a Neo4j a browser guide, uh, which has everything included in it. Uh, and so that's the end of this video, giving you a quick introduction to, to Neo4j Euler. In our next video, we're going to look at how to actually install uh, this tool on your Neo4j desktop. 